we're live here. This is a bit different setup for me today. I'm using the iPad instead of the uh, computer because we've had so much trouble with the uh, computer when we go live lately. So we're kind of trying to troubleshoot and seeing what the problem is. Oh, I forgot to turn on my Christmas sweater. There we go. You all see the lights? Is it going? No, wait. There we go. Oh no, I think my battery's gone. This is what I feared. Oh God, okay, we'll be fine, it's fine. I'm really gonna miss this uh, Christmas get up when Christmas is over. I might have to continue this in January. Can't decide what I like more, the sweater, the ears, the headband, it's all very good. So we are just a few days out from Christmas. How excited is everyone? I cannot believe the date is what it is already. Unbelievable. I hope you're all ready for Christmas, but before that, we've got a few things to go over. First of all, the newsletter comes out on Thursday morning. Only two left for the year. Can you believe that? If you haven't signed up for it already, check it out on churrobuzz.com or on the Facebook page to sign up for the newsletter on the front page. And that gives you a snapshot of all the things that are happening in the coming week. Or you can head over to churrobuzz.com to check out the events calendar if you want to plan a little further ahead than the week. But there's all kinds of things in there. Kids, families, music, food, no matter what you're looking for, you can find it in the newsletter. Head to churrobuzz.com to set up for that or on the Facebook page. Now also, we are wrapping up our Christmas card for seniors drive. We have picked up all the cards and oh my God, guys, thank you so much. So last year we started this by saying, you know, with COVID protocols and things in place, a lot of seniors aren't able to have visitors. So let's uh, get some extra Christmas cards out, get your kids to make some, pick some up, whatever. And we have gotten so many cards dropped off. I can't believe it. We got them from the Stuyak Library, Tatamagush Library, Truro Library, and right here at the Hive on Prince Street. We are going to be doling those out tomorrow, and you're going to have to pay attention to the feed to see the amazing photos and reactions we get from the places that are able to send us photos. Super excited. So thank you very much for the Christmas cards again this year. And we are also, uh, sorry, we're wrapping up the buzz boxes, and Thank you for all of your local support again this year. Obviously, it's very important to support local business, especially at times like this. We love doing the buzz boxes and we are so glad that so many people ordered them and supported seven local businesses with every purchase. So thank you very much for that. It's been a pretty great year. Okay, without further ado, let's have a look at our guests here tonight. Hang on, now we got some camera readjusting to do. Hi, Wendy. Are you working? <laughs> All right. Sorry if I'm missing your comments. I'm a little bit further from the camera because you know we have regulations that we have to follow. Hello! Hi! Lovely ladies. So these wonderful women are here from Stagecoach Performing Arts School. Sorry if I'm a little cut off here. We're trying to figure out where to position ourselves. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourselves? Let me start with you. Yes, my name is Christy. And I am the owner and principal for Stagecoach School for the Performing Arts. And I am Brenda Conrad, and I am going to be the manager for the school in Truro. In Truro. So yes. you already have a school in the Halifax area, which has been happening for two years. And if people are not familiar, this is a performing arts school that focuses on singing, dancing, and acting. That's pretty incredible. For children. For yes, children. Absolutely. Of all ages. I know. For, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We would love to be able to uh, open it up to adults. Maybe someday we'll get our adults. But this is for children. We, um, we specialize in children four to six in our early stages program. And from six all the way to 16 in our main stages program. And we teach them singing, dancing, and acting. And it is so much fun. No kidding. The photos in the press package that you sent today are incredible. <laughs> like, what an experience that they would get from this kind of uh, performance school. So this originated in the UK, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. It, Stagecoach has been around for over 30 years. Oh my gosh. And we have um, over a thousand schools around the world, which is why it's so exciting to be able to bring it here to Truro because we know that this is a model that works. The kids absolutely love it and we have a great time with them. Um, and it really not only gives our children an opportunity to learn 
performing arts skills like singing, dancing, and acting, but really what we do is we teach them sort of life skills. So we're helping them work on their confidence, we're helping them really stretch their creativity, and that can manifest itself in a lot of different ways. Anything from raising their hand in class where they might have been too shy to be able to do that beforehand, mm -hmm. or sharing, um, sharing ideas and working collaboratively as a team with other people, or even you know standing up to a bully. We had a student last year who came to us at the end of term and said, you know what, I've been bullied this year, and because of Stagecoach and what I've learned here, I've been able to stand up for myself oh, and wow. that's not. So the kind of confidence that we're able to grow in our students is amazing. And what a great way to be able to safely step out of your comfort zone Absolutely. or like dip your toe in things yeah. without having to worry about being singled out. Kind of a nice, safe, nurturing environment, I feel like, is what you're getting from that. Oh, 100%. It, this is really about kids exploring their creative selves, right? And we, we get students who, um, I would say probably a third of our students come to us because they are, the, the parents are looking for an engaging activity, something safe mm -hmm. for them to do mm -hmm. and to re build that creativity and to get them active again. So many of our children just haven't really been very active lately. Mm -hmm. And interactive. So, and interactive. That's now, the you're exactly. yeah. now you're talking. Now you're talking. And we get a, a third of our parents also bring their children to Stagecoach because they're really shy mm -hmm. and they want them to sort of step out of their comfort zone mm -hmm. and build some of that confidence. And we probably get a third of our parents send their children to Stagecoach because they're little singers and dancers <laughs> and actors. And all the mess. That's what yeah. it's about. <laughs> that star is shining. That's they right. Just need and a they place are, to go. They are yeah. writing musicals in their living room. So the parents are like, how do I channel this energy? No <laughs> yeah. kidding. Yeah. I can take off my manager cap and talk about it from a parent's perspective for two seconds. So when I started teaching voice at Stagecoach in Halifax, Christy was like, well, why don't you bring your son and let him try it out? And I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. He like showed lots of interest in like sports, so like mm -hmm. hockey and things like that. And I was like, oh, he hasn't shown interest in it. I don't want to push him. But so, but I was like, let's give it a go. Safe space to try it out, exactly. see how it goes. The language and vocabulary he came out <laughs> with after this, like means of self-expression. And so that is what, like, it, he didn't lean towards it, but when he came out, it was normalized. It mm -hmm. was normalized to interact with others. It was normalized to be open mm -hmm. with other people. And, like, he now loves it and considers it, like, a very normal thing to learn how to express yourself, to try oh. silly activities. And Is that the dream? Uh, it's amazing. And quite frankly, it was a massive shock. And that's coming from somebody who's yeah. taught in the arts for years. <laughs> so that it's, it is for all kids. Yeah, yeah. We, we hear that a lot. We have a lot of parents who's, um, and it is for boys and girls. So we, we, a lot of times we get questions, is it just for girls? Are there only girls there? My son, I'm curious about bringing my son in. I would say we, it's not quite 50-50, but it's definitely one third, two thirds. And the young boys that we have there, my gosh, they absolutely love it. And they thrive. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's creativity in every single child. Mm -hmm. And they just need to know that they're in a safe place to be able to express themselves and, yes. or at least learn how to express themselves. Yes. And and it's okay to fail at Stagecoach. You might try something and you're, you don't get the laugh that you thought you were going to get. Or you're learning a new piece of choreography and you've never danced before. And it's okay to get the step wrong once or twice. Um, and or, 17 million or 17 million times. Or 17 million times. But yeah. I, I truly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that true self-confidence comes from trying something that's really hard mm -hmm. and then succeeding in it. Mm -hmm. And then you watch these kids absolutely glow. And they will go home and they will practice in their bedrooms and their living rooms. They'll be putting on shows. They'll be singing the songs that... Uh, that we're working with uh, uh, with them on in school and 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 joyous, you know. We we hear from a lot of parents that uh, their Monday to Friday might not be their happy place, 
but when they're at Stagecoach yeah. on Saturday, that's what they look for. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. If you're just tuning in, we're talking with Christy and Brenna of Stagecoach Performing Arts School, which is opening in Truro in January. It's already open in Halifax, and uh, it is a performing arts school with singing, dancing, and acting. Now, is there a big difference when we talk about how it's a school and you are an actual principal of this <laughs> institution? Yes. Yep. Do the classes, like, is there a grading structure to it? Is it different like that? Or is it just, no, this is the classes, this is what you learn at the end of the year? Yeah, it's a really unique format. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we divide the students into age groups. So a lot of uh, parents will say, oh, well, you know, you, your kids are 6 to 16. I'm, I'm not sure my 6-year-old's going to feel comfortable. Um, but what we do is we divide them into age groups. So we call our 6, 7, and 8-year-olds sort of together as our stage 1 students. And then we have sort of 9, 10, 11 year olds are our stage 2 students. And then our 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds are our stage 3 students. So students are always with um, children that are their own age and their own stage and their own sort of level of ability. Uh, and then we teach singing, dancing, and acting. And unlike some other performing arts schools, especially around musical theater, you, you typically get one or two teachers and they are kind of like a triple threat they sort of do a little bit of everything at stagecoach what makes it really unique is that our dance teacher teaches them dance our voice teacher focuses purely on teaching them voice and our acting teacher teaches them drama so while the stage ones might be in their acting class the stage twos will be in their voice class and the stage threes will be in their dance class and after an hour they all switch so they're exposed to an hour of dance, an hour of voice, and an hour of drama. Mm -hmm. And the lessons are planned specifically with their age and their ability in mind. Becoming so, a triple threat. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And every child comes to us uh, with maybe a one out of three or a two out of three. So they love to dance, but they're you know okay in drama, and they're terrified of singing, or they love to sing, and they can't find Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, terrible. Yeah. I'm terrible. That's funny. Yeah, but I could sing all day. I sang in the car all the way up here. That's, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, that's, and that's where um, it's okay because in every single class, there's going to be somebody there who is there to support you because the gal who might be scared of singing might be a really good dancer and she's standing next to you and she'll help you with dance and then you can help her in singing next class. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great collaborative um, space for the kids. That is a really neat model. I was thinking of it as they were taking one or the other or they could take multiple classes, yeah. but it's neat. They're doing a whole round they of performing arts education. Yeah, that's right. That's interesting. Yeah, and it really helps to, as I said, grow their confidence, but gives them exposure to uh, different parts of the performing arts that you typically don't get in just a dance class or voice lessons or an acting class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Truro has incredible programs, uh, incredible like comical dance. Absolutely, there, pride of teachers. So this will be a place to kind of bring all of those different disciplines kind of together and give it uh, like an educational hub. Exactly. To kind of and perpetuate. The, and the beautiful well. thing is we'll, we'll find, we'll be introduced to students because at Stagecoach you can start as, as young as four. So we do have a program for our four to six year olds mm -hmm. and then at six they graduate up into our main stages program. And we will have students, because we've seen this in Halifax, and they are introduced to dance at Stagecoach and they're saying, Mama, I love to dance. They're the perfect student to then go on to come up with dance and uh, to be able to continue their dance education all the way through and go through that sort of really specific training. Right. Now they, they've done for. the well, the foundation, exactly. so they specialize. Then. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and same with voice. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of students who find their voice at Stagecoach, but oh my goodness, this is where I want to excel. So then we can put them in private one-on-one -on -one, uh, voice coaching with some of our teachers. Same thing with acting. So it really gives them that great foundation to figure out what it is that they love, and then we can help them excel. And, and not every student's going to do that. Some of our students uh, will do a, a, a term or two or a year or two with us, and then they'll move on to something else. But we will have provided them with such an amazing base of, mm -hmm. of foundations and, and strengths that they'll be able to take with them for the rest of their lives. That yeah. is so true. So this, this company has more than 1,000 locations yeah. worldwide. Yeah, we have over 1,000.
thousand schools around the world. We've got schools, if we mention the UK, um, we've got schools in Spain, in Malta, in South Africa, in Australia, uh, all across Canada. So we've got schools from Vancouver, Calgary, we've got them in off-road Ontario, Quebec. And when we opened up in Halifax two years ago, we were the first school here in Atlanta, Canada. Mm -hmm. And so excited to be opening a school here in Truro. Because there are so many creative students here. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. And Truro is such a great location because you're such in the center of, like, if you had students coming over from PEI or New Brunswick, I mean, it's a little bit of a track, but yeah. it's, a, it's a good in-between as opposed to going all the way to Halifax. Well, in Halifax, we've already had students from Truro. We get students who come from the Valley. We get right. students who come from all the way from the South Shore to come into Halifax to experience Stagecoach. So um, we're really happy to be able to, to create a, a hub in the hub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, where where students who who might live a little further afield, so mm -hmm. um, you know they might be in Great Village or they might be in Wentworth mm -hmm. or Tatamagush or Picked Up County, mm -hmm. exactly. Lots of great um, schools here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other thing is, the main stages program is three hours long. Wow! So mom can go to the spa. Oh! She can get her groceries done. She might be able to have a cup of tea with a friend. You actually get. Three hours on a Saturday, all to yourself. Mm -hmm. So parents, hit <laughs> us up, sign up for our newsletter. We will uh, we'll hook you up with the places to go while your kids are <laughs> exactly. at Stagecoach. Maybe we can get together a package of stuff. <laughs> Wendy, I don't have any kids, but this school sounds amazing. Can you take adult children? Well, we should listen. Children at heart. <laughs> exactly. I'll go with you, Wendy. So so, someday we might create what we're what we'll, we'll call age coach. Yeah. I don't know, and it'll be for yeah. the parents. But yeah, so. I love that idea. I love drama. In uh, when I was in high school, I definitely can't carry a tune, and I don't think I'm a very good dancer. But yes, I would. I'd like to try. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole point is trying and having fun, and and as we said, having a safe place to fail. So you don't get it right. That's, nah. that's what sold me on this model. When I started teaching voice in Halifax was that it was process oriented. You weren't working towards one show or one performance or it was, these are tangible skills that you can take with you forever over time. And there was no end result. You just got to keep learning the whole yes. time. Yeah. Yeah. So we are heavily focused on the education side of things. We do love to perform. Yeah. We absolutely That's love to perform when we can. And you said so you're both uh, into the vocals. Yeah. Well, she's a phenomenal singer. I'm a like world class. Oh. <laughs> absolutely world stage. Yeah. I primarily teach now. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, who doesn't love? I mean, I'm wearing outfits with a light-up sweater and a hat, so I would say that I do. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Costumes are a big part of it, right? Expression. I love it. I love it so hard. That's incredible. And we were talking a little earlier before we went live about how important um, this process of the creative and the arts is, I mean, in general, but especially now when oh, gosh, times yeah. are so heavy and yeah. bleak. Mm -hmm. it, it's so important to be able to offer this outlet to kids, both actively and interactively yeah. what would you say about the importance of performing arts oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah i know that's yeah. a loaded topic I can't, I can't even explain to you the difference that i see uh in kids lives when they're immersed in it it gives them a place where they belong yeah. it gives them a place where they get to like make eye contact have conversations mm -hmm. bounce ideas off of each other in a really safe space feel like they belong yeah. like it's it's yeah. everything yeah and I think as Brenna said I, I mean she said it twice so I'm gonna say it the third time where children feel like they belong mm -hmm. and I will say quite often students especially who are attracted to the performing arts maybe don't necessarily feel like they belong in mainstream school mm -hmm. or in certain environments and we strive to create a very safe and inclusive place mm -hmm. where they truly can be themselves or even just figure out who they are, mm -hmm. who, whatever themselves wants to look like that day. Um, and we do that at, at Stagecoach. It, the, the performing arts in a time like this, well, first of all, 
we all turn to the performing arts, mm -hmm. whether it's binging on Netflix or watching online concerts. Well, or right. that, like East Coast, like Facebook yeah. group that was the kitchen party. Yeah, party. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that is. It, it might not necessarily feel that way, but that is a community of people mm -hmm. who are expressing themselves through music and dance and poetry and plays and writing and all of that is uh, that basis of performing arts training. Mm -hmm. And we know that it was so soothing for so many to be able to perform and create during this time and for us to be able to sit back and watch. Mm -hmm. And what we found at Stagecoach, which is kind of crazy, is our school, we started September 2019 in Halifax, and our school, we've tripled in our numbers. Wow. Over the pandemic. Amazing. Yeah. So we started with one school, and in September 2019, we had 30 students, and I have over 170 registered mm -hmm. in Halifax right now, mm -hmm. which to me proves that this is something that, that, that not only the children need, but the parents see mm -hmm. value in. And a lot of our students have been with us, like, well, a lot of students who, who started with us are still with us from the from the very beginning. So and we just continue to grow and, and we're excited to to grow here in Truro. And mm -hmm. they, it's, the response has been overwhelming. Like we're, we feel so welcomed by this community. It's incredible. Right, so yeah. is registration happening now for people who yeah. are watching this and interested? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so we opened up our registration a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. and I would say we've got two of our programs that are getting close to full, mm -hmm. which is getting exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Still some spots left, as always. Yeah. You still have time, guys, if you uh, <laughs> want to register your kids. So if they want to find out more information on the, the uh, programs you have here at Stageco Performing Arts School opening in Truro, where can they find that information? They can head to stagecoachschools, with an S, <laughs> dot C-A, um, slash Truro. Perfect. Yeah. And where is it going to be here in Truro? We're going to be working out of the First United oh, Church. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, just around the corner from the Hive. That's here. right, that's right. And we, well, we're very familiar, if you live in Truro, with the First United yeah. Church, because they hold, that's a, an excellent venue. Yeah. yeah. We're very that's excited fantastic. to be partnering with them and for them to be our, our Truro home. Uh, an incredibly welcoming uh, community. So They're it's, kind of known as a hub yeah. for the arts. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, they do a lot of things from uh, choirs to art shows. Like, they're very active in the community. Yeah. So it's a perfect fit. And mm -hmm. a, a lot of parents have asked us, um, you know, we, we're starting with an eight-week term, so we're not a drop-in program. We do um, start on day one with a term, and then we carry through for eight weeks. But a lot of parents aren't sure if stagecoach is the right thing for their children. Mm -hmm. And three hours a week, it's a big commitment for eight weeks in a row. We do offer a two-week trial. So oh. the children can come for the first two weeks of the class and see if they like it. They pay a deposit as opposed to the full registration fee, and that gives them access to the first two weeks. And after two weeks, they know instantly if they're going to love it uh, or list it. <laughs> love it. Yeah, and I would say 80% of our students love the program and stay with it. And I love the fact that 20% of our students who try the program are able to recognize, you know what, this, this isn't, isn't for me, mm -hmm. and that's okay, and then there's no further commitment from the parents. The parents aren't dragging their children to something yeah. that they don't want to be in. Not the worst. No, exactly. But for those who aren't sure, it gives them an opportunity to give it a try, to bring their kids in for two weeks and see if they like it, and those who stay, love it. That's the thing. Yeah. Like This program, you move from one discipline to the other, so they're never bored. Oh like what you have like an hour of singing and then you move right on to dance and then you're done with that and you go to the next so you're never really in one spot too long yeah. so it's great for kids because it keeps their interest for that whole three hours whereas if you were in one mm -hmm. discipline for three hours i'm well i'm not i'm an adult because i'm not sure i could do that oh, i hear you this yeah. model really really works mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. and a lot of parents ask us is it going to you know are they going to get bored? Are they going to, uh, or or is it going to be too long of a period, mm -hmm. especially for the younger ones? They're overwhelming, six, like seven, eight, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, mm -hmm. it's it's paced out specifically so that we really meet the kids where they are. Mm -hmm. So we're not trying to push them. I mean, we do want them to to try. grow and try, um, but our teachers 
are amazing and they're constantly going okay so i tried this this week and this you know with my my young ones it works great with our stage twos but i'm going to adjust my lesson plan a little bit like yeah. as an artist and a teacher you kind of model that growth mentality for your yeah. students so you if you create that open environment where you try things and it falls flat mm -hmm. and it's still safe for you as an adult it's going to be safe for those kids to do so too i think that's probably one of the most important things for kids to learn because we become so afraid of failure yes. especially in things like the performing arts like yeah. being i mean is it not everybody's nightmare to be the only person on stage with the spotlight and you forget your lines or you know something like yeah. that so i for for kids to be able to try stuff fail work on it succeed yeah. Just such incredible skills and, to have and, and also experiences. To, absolutely. And to work in a, in a group, so to listen to one another. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we spend enough time teaching our children how to oh, listen. Amen. So when you're working I, in it. I think we all try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of falls flat. <laughs> so when you're working in a, in a group dynamic and something like improv, yeah. where there's no script and we, you know, we teach the children just to sort of whatever comes up on the spur of their moment, create a scene, you're in a grocery store and you're a brother and sister and you're fighting over, and you might give me the word pineapple. Okay, now let's create a scene. And that ability to listen to one another and really engage and to support your partner. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's not just about you. Those are really incredible skills for children to learn at a young age. Absolutely. I mean, at any age. Yes. <laughs> There's so much of this that yeah. could be beneficial to adults. I really want you to have an adult class. <laughs> Like a flip, flip the switch one week. And that's well, we do, we yeah. do do parents do stage coach. So we Ooh. do invite the parents in on one of the weeks. So they, and they, they sign up so fast for that. I bet. Yeah, every child's dream to watch the parents up there having to improv. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Or do of like, okay, now you do it. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's we teach so them fun. choreography. We get them to, to sing along. It's a, it's a ton of fun. And it really is like a family too. That's the other thing that I can't emphasize enough. I think when you, um, when you come to Stagecoach, I've heard a lot of that in the UK, um, where the where the model was first founded. And when I went over there to do my training and and to sort of get indoctrinated into the Stagecoach way, I heard over and over again how much Stagecoach is like a family, and I really didn't understand that. I mean, I know being a performer that theater is like a family. It always has been. Mm -hmm. But when, you, when you're in those classrooms with these students and they are relying on each other and they're learning from each other and they're learning to trust one another, um, those, the relationships and the bonds that form with these students every single week is amazing. It's magical. Mm -hmm. Some of their best friends are formed at Stagecoach. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. I am sold on this model for like authenticity letting kids be themselves and it translates outside the school too so that connection is is real to them it's not manufactured in any way yeah. well that's fantastic i can't wait to see what you guys do here and furrow is so very lucky to have you opening up right here oh, well we're very lucky to have been welcomed by this community everybody has been uh, has been incredible and we're really excited there's so much talent <laughs> in Truro yeah yes there is yeah. <laughs> can't see me but yes there is <laughs> uh well i don't want to close up without uh talking about the proverbial elephant in the room as we had the announcement today that was oh, not yes. quite what people wanted to hear yeah. so um i know we had spoke a little bit earlier about uh the safety that has already been stagecoach yeah. precautions but do you want to speak a little bit to that as we go into an uncertain january and registration starting oh yeah absolutely first of all any parent can feel confident in registering their child and if we do need to um, you, pivot or move on to online um we will adjust and uh, and if any parent is feels unsafe with their children in the program um, we're 100% willing to work with you. It is all about everybody's safety and their comfort. We've been running in Halifax for two years through this incredible pandemic. Mm. <laughs> um, incredible is one word. Incredible. And I am very proud to say that we have taught over 1,000 hours of in-person performing arts training without a single transmission of COVID mm -hmm. in any of our schools. Mm -hmm. um, all of our teachers are vaccinated. 
Uh, we rapid test all of our, well, we did until, um, although we still have some, we still have some rapid test stars. Because like it's the now <laughs> the I know, I know, exactly. Um, we uh, rapid test all of our staff before they start. And um, I know that the current return to day camp guidelines are asking that the children rapid test before they come into stagecoach as well. But even if they don't, we have a very safe environment. We keep our students to cohorts in our bubbles of 15. So they are within their own group of 15 and they do not mix with one another. Mm -hmm. So even though we might have 45 students in the school at any given time, because we've got 15 in our stage ones or two in our stage twos and our stage threes, they're actually choreographed <laughs> to, to be able to move from one space to another without interacting with each other. That is a very positive way of referencing social distancing, choreographing. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'm going to use that in my life. Yeah. 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 I've choreographed and my cohort. Yes. yes. Exactly. Exactly. And, and but, but we do it. And we understand that with, with children, it, sometimes it can be very difficult to keep them distanced mm -hmm. and keep them safe. But we focus very hard on that. Um, we also have all of our cleaning protocols in place, mask wearing, social distancing, all of those things that all become very normal, but for us are very serious. Um, very serious from a, a staffing and, and teaching perspective, but the kids don't feel like it's that serious, which is fun. So they still have a place where they can come and feel safe and have fun mm. and be engaged. Exactly. Yeah. Because the COVID protocols that Stagecoach has in place takes the thinking out of it. It's already, right. we, we know what we're doing, now you can just come and create. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and the other thing that's interesting coming from a UK um, background, um, we have some of the strongest child protection safety measures in the province as well. Mm -hmm. So all of our teachers are vulnerable sector checked, um, as well as they go through hours of child protection training everything to keep our kids safe. That's our number one priority, mm -hmm. right? You can't have fun if you don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. That's a very good point. Uh, Susan says, sounds like a wonderful program. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much, Susan. Okay, awesome. Well guys, thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about this wonderful establishment that we have coming to Truro. That is the Stagecoach Performing Arts School. You'll have to watch for it. Uh, the now, Sorry, not on Instagram unless Tanya's still there and you can pop it in the comments there. But we do have the website in the comments here and we will post it again for you if you want to check out uh, registration or just look at the programs that are being offered. It is uh, for ages 4 to 15? 4 to 16, that's right, on Saturdays. And we're working on the uh, adult program, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> but wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in and telling us about this. We're really excited. Oh, thank we you. Too. Thank yeah, you. and you know, once we're up and running, maybe we'll come back when it's safe and we'll bring some kiddos with us and we'll do some oh, performing for you. That would be super cool. Yeah. We love that. We're all about that uh, performing here at Truro Buzz, as you know. So thank you so much for coming in. Definitely check out Stagecoach Performing Arts. Uh, you still have time to check out their program starting in January. And yeah, okay, good there. Awesome. Well, this is our last live of 2021. I can't even believe it. Sorry, I'm not even on camera. I'm trying here. There we go. And uh, it has been a pretty incredible year, but we still have some amazing things coming. So stay tuned to Turo Buzz and check out our newsletter. We still have two newsletters left for the year full of Christmassy goodness. Very excited. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful Christmas. Yeah, yes. happy new year. And happy stay new year. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Yes, for the love of God, stay safe, people. <laughs>